back to Art with Miss Choate. I hope you're having a wonderful start to your Sunday morning. And for this Sunday, what I want us to do is focus on our breath and how, because I always mention like take a breath with me. And so I figured why not actually do an art project that focuses on breath. And what we're going to be doing, we're going to be drawing our breath. We're going to be doing different breathing patterns. I don't know if you've ever heard of like star breathing, where you actually picture a star and you breathe in and out with the star, figure eight breathing. And we're going to be doing these breathing techniques as we're drawing. And you can actually incorporate this technique into drawings in the future, or maybe even to a painting that we did before, like that line painting, you could go back on top of it and maybe do your breath on top of it. It could be an interesting little um, technique to throw in there with other things. So let's get started. So we're gonna focus on our breath and I want us to think about how do we breathe so you can think about breathing in shapes. So I'm gonna draw out a few shapes for us first. You do not have to draw these shapes. These are just some ideas. So there's circle breathing, there's triangle breathing, square breathing, and star breathing. Not such a lovely star, but that's okay. So when we breathe in different techniques, you're gonna think about your starting point and breathing around. So if you're breathing in a circle, you're gonna breathe in. And out. And you're gonna, you can trace a shape. Uh, you can use your finger to trace a shape. If you're doing this with somebody younger, this is a good technique. You can hold up index cards with the shapes. And for, so that's circle breathing. There's also triangle breathing where you'd go in, out, in, thinking about and you go around in the triangle same thing with square in out in out very calm these are ways to calm yourself down if you're worried about something and then triangle these shapes get more complicated you know so like And you just, you can visualize, I like to visualize the shapes in my head. Um, I don't need to physically see them or sometimes I close my eyes and I trace them with my finger. So when we're doing this breathing drawing, you can do it with pencil, color pencil, marker, paint. Um, if you have lots of options, I like to do layers, uh, but I love layering my work. So you can grab yourself a paintbrush and really think about the colors you're picking because colors represent moods. They make you feel certain ways. Don't worry about like, oh, I've heard that, you know, purple represents royalty. No, I'm not talking about those. How do the colors make you feel? So like this hot pink makes me feel a little anxious. So I don't want that color. I want to feel calm. And so maybe blue makes you feel calm. Maybe it doesn't. Uh, so I'm going to go for this blue. Maybe And you could either just paint yourself a background or you can start to do your breathing technique with this. So I'm gonna to start to breathe and visualize your breath. How is it that you're breathing right now? Cause I'm talking, my breath is actually kind of going a little fast. I'd like to think about it as a wave, but it's a little choppy. And it's calming down a little bit cause I'm talking less. And it's still art, so I can still, you know, be thoughtful and creative with this. So I decided I want to change up the color of my blue, and I might breathe on top of this again. So,
maybe that's all I want to do with paint. I can move these to the side. And I could go on top of this with marker, color pencil, whatever you want. Do you think about the colors you're picking? Maybe I do want to show you with a color that maybe is a little more anxious. And if I was breathing quickly or I had, you know, just been worked up or my I had just gone for a run, what would my breath look like then? What does your breath look like to you? Maybe that would be a calm breath for somebody else. Like you think about like the winds coming out of your lungs. Maybe, maybe that is calm. What would my star breathing look like? Like, I feel like. So here we have our breathing techniques. Now, remember, you can start with the base color. You could add breath on top of it, or it could just end up being a mess of scribbles. It's going to be up to you, but I really do want you to focus on your breathing. This could be a really good technique for you to do uh, in between a drawing or a painting if you start to get worked up. I know a lot of my students sometimes get frustrated, so this is something you can do in between that. So if you're working on something, you're getting frustrated, instead of getting upset and crumpling it up like we did in yesterday's video, take a second, draw and paint your breath, and now go back to it. So I hope you had a good time relaxing, breathing with me, thinking about the techniques that we've learned in past videos and bringing them into this one, and then also taking this lesson and putting it into future ones or taking the old things and repurposing them or adding new life to them. I'm all about keeping all your art together and then you can go through it. If there's something you don't like, try adding to it. Uh, you can always make something better or at least learn from it. So maybe we can take this lesson. Maybe this is something we can do when we're feeling a little overwhelmed. We can go back to drawing and painting our breath and you never know what you'll create from it. You might look back and see that you worked through a problem in a way that you might not have expected. And so hopefully you had a good time and learned how to breathe with me while making art. So I hope you have a wonderful rest of your Sunday and join me for Monday in the studio. All right, bye.